Howdy, howdy. My name is John, and this video is the A to Z tag. I was tagged for this by Amy at A Star Reads. She has a great channel, and if you're not already familiar with her, uh, I hope you go check her out. The original was a blog post by the Perpetual Page Turner, and I'll provide a link to all of those in the description below. Author, you've read the most books from. This answer won't come as a surprise to anyone who's watched my channel for a while, but it is Piers Anthony. Piers Anthony uh, books have uh, both of these shelves. That's all his books right here. So, uh, and I've read most of them. There are a couple that I have not read yet. They are uh, additions to series that I had stopped reading on Brokaw. This is a short biography of a number of people that were alive during World War II. They were in their late teens, early 20s. Uh, most of them were in the American Armed Forces during the war. But there are also several biographies of people who were serving on the home front as well. Everyone covered in what I've read thus far has been uh, people who aren't necessarily well known. There is a section at the back of the book uh, for people who are better known, uh, such as uh, George H.W. Bush, who was the 41st president. I'm also in the middle of Darkness and Light. This is by Paul Thompson and Tanya Carter. This is the first book in the Dragonlance Prelude series. I'm also in the middle of the Divine Comedy. This is a read-along with uh, Tom L.A. Books. And uh, I'll provide a link to his channel in the description below. This translation is by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. And it was written in the 1860s. I've been having a little bit of trouble understanding exactly what's been going on in this uh, edition because it, it's using older English. So now I'm also reading a translation by Gene and Robert Hollander, and I'm finding this translation much easier to understand. I'm still reading the uh, translation by Longfellow, reading both before I watch uh, Tom's video on, on a given canto. We just finished Canto 10 of Purgatorio. And I'm really enjoying this series. Drink of choice while reading. I don't typically drink anything while I'm reading. Typically, I have to take a break from reading it periodically. And that's, you know, when I eat and drink. But uh, typically, if I'm going to snack, I'm just going to drink water. E-reader or physical book. I do strongly prefer reading physical books. Uh, I did just recently pick up an e-reader. And... Uh, I'll have to start using it more. Fictional character you probably would have dated in high school. The problem with this prompt is, is that it said actually, and I'm not sure that there's a fictional character that I actually would have dated in high school. But for the sake of answering this question, I'm going to pick Irene from Centaur Isle. That's the fourth book in the Xanth series. Her magical talent is to grow plants. Glad you gave this book a chance. This one's going to be Trader's Blade by Sebastian Day Castell. I read this last year after watching a, a couple of reviews, one by Mark from Slowly Read and the other by the Library of Alexandria. And I really enjoyed that book and the rest of the series as well. Hidden Gem Book. For this book, I'm going to pick In the Balance by Harry Turtledove. This is the first book in his World War series. This book takes place in an alternate universe where aliens invade during the middle of World War II. This book follows many characters over the many theaters of the war, and it also uh, covers several of the aliens that invade, and it's a really fascinating tale. The original series is a four-book series. Then there are three books, that take place 20 years after the events of the first four books. Important moment in your reading life. That would have to be when I decided to read Ogre Ogre by Piers Anthony. This was the first book in the Xanth series that I read, even though it's actually the fifth in the series. I wasn't reading any fantasy or science fiction before I read this book. 
And that's what really kind of launched both my love of Piers Anthony uh, specifically and also my love of science fiction and fantasy. Just finished. That would be Minimum Wage Magic by Rachel Aaron. This book is her first in the DFZ series. I enjoyed this book. It's not perfect, but it's a lot fun hearted read. I buddy read this with Margaret Pinard. We had a really good discussion about the book. Kinds of books you won't read. I don't want to come right out and say that I'll never read these types of books, but generally speaking, I avoid romance books and horror books. I don't really care for either genre. Longest book you've read. That would have to be The Stand by Stephen King. This comes in at a little over 1,100 pages. Major book hangover because of. I really don't have an answer for this one. I don't really uh, know what uh, a book hangover uh, would actually consist of. So, number of bookcases you own. I've got eight that are full of books. One book you have read multiple times. There are many books like this, but the one I'm going to highlight here is One Step Apart by Gene Oppenheimer. This is a book written in the late 70s. It's a young adult book before there was really a market for young adult books. This book follows Danny and Silver. They're teenagers who are stepbrother and stepsister. It is the second marriage for his father and her mother. That couple also has two small children as well. And it just kind of follows Danny and Silver's life uh, in about a year uh, while they're in high school. This is a book that my parents gave me when I was a teenager, and I've read it many times over the years. Preferred place to read. Uh, my preferred place to read is on the couch in my uh, living room. It's the most comfortable for me to, to uh, sit there, and I have a, a good lamp that uh, provides good light, so that's definitely my favorite. Quote that inspires you gives you all the feels from a book. For this one, I'm going to choose a quote from Hit or Myth by Robert Asprin. This is one of the books in his Myth Adventure series, and I think it's the fourth book. Anyway, the quote is, it is easier to destroy than to create. This is attributed to any general, any army, any age. It reminds me that I need to make a conscious effort to build rather than destroy. Reading regret. I don't really have an answer here either. I don't really regret any of the books that I've read. I've not enjoyed all of the books that I've read. But uh, there's always a lesson to be learned in any book that you read. Series you started and need to finish. All books are out in the series. For me, that's the Mode series by Piers Anthony. I have read the first three in the series, but not the last book. I'm actually planning on reading this the last four months of the year. Three of your all-time favorite books. Now, obviously, this is a uh, difficult decision, but uh, the three I'm going to go with are Gollum in the Gears by Piers Anthony. This is the ninth in his Xanth series. I'm going to go with Homeland by R.A. Salvatore. This is the fourth book in uh, his long-running series on Dritz, Jordan. This book covers Dritz's early years in the city of Menzo Baranzan. The last book I'm going to pick is Watership Down by Richard Adams. Unapologetic Fangirl 4. Is it really any surprise that I'm going to say the Zant series by Piers Anthony? Very excited for this release more than all the others. Trist of Fate, the 45th book in the Zant series, is scheduled to come out in October. Worst Bookish Habit. I'm definitely going to have to agree with Amy on this one and say getting distracted while I'm reading. It's uh, getting harder for me as I've gotten older to actually focus on the book that I'm reading. I would definitely read a lot more books if I could actually focus on the book that I'm reading. This marks the spot. Start at the top left of your shelf 
and pick the 27th book, that would be Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. This is the fifth book in the Harry Potter series. Your latest book purchase. So my latest book purchase is four books by, guess who, Piers Anthony. The first two are Anthony's autobiography. Bio of an Ogre covers his life to age 50. How Precious Was That While covers his life to age 60. And the author is in his mid-80s now. The next book is Letters to Jenny. In the late 80s, the mother of one of Anthony's fans wrote a letter to him asking him to write a letter to her daughter. The daughter had been injured in a drunk driving incident and was in a coma. Anthony wrote a letter a week, which the mother would then read to Jenny. This book covers the first year of those letters. And according to Anthony's website, Anthony has kept this practice up to the present day. The last book is Shade of the Tree by Piers Anthony. I actually borrowed a copy from the library, and while it's not my favorite Anthony novel, uh, I did enjoy it well enough to buy a copy of my own. I'll have a review for this book coming out sometime later. The Snatcher. Last book that kept you up way late. Now that I've gotten older, um, I have no problem stopping a book wherever I'm at and taking a nap. So I don't have a strong answer for this one. I am going to say Wild by Cheryl Stray. I covered this book in my June wrap up, if you want to hear more of my thoughts. But uh, especially at the beginning, I really did uh, find this book uh, engaging. Wow, that was a lot of questions. Now I would like to tag a few people. The first person I want to tag is Margaret Pernard. As I mentioned earlier in the video, I buddy read Minimum Wage Magic with her. Just so you know, uh, Margaret, I am thinking about you. I am covering up the scary books. Uh, that They're behind me so you don't have to look at them. The next person I want to tag is Realm of Words and Pages. Uh, she's a really fantastic booktuber. She's one of those people that can read a lot of books in a month, so I always enjoy watching her wrap-up videos. The last person I want to tag is Book Zealots. This is a mother and son team, and uh, they read a wide variety of books, and I uh, always enjoy their videos. Uh, if you're not familiar with any three of these channels, I do hope you go and check them out. Thank you for watching this video. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.